Hi guys! So today I'm going to show you how to do some finishing touches on your weaving. So you'll know when you've reached the end, when you've reached about 12 or 13 inches. Um, you want about this much, about 5 inches or so here left on the end so that you can tie off uh, the edge, the ends of your, your weaving. So this is how you're going to do that. The first thing you're going to do is you're going to take maybe like the last two or three or four strings here and you're gonna cut them right down here at the bottom. You're just gonna cut it one at a time off the loom. So there's one, there's two. Okay, I have something like this. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to tie this off and how I'm gonna do that is I'm gonna take this here and I'm going to just make a loop with my finger. Okay, so there's the loop. This is gonna go inside the loop. Pull that through. So something like that. Now let's, I'm gonna just pull this as tightly as I can, kind of shove it up there as close as I can to the fabric so that this is going to hang straight down for me. Okay, something like this. Okay, um, here's another way you can do it. Take two and then tie these in a knot by doing your X and looping through, pulling it tight and then doing that again just like doing a double knot basically. But the problem is these are gonna kinda hang outwards. Now I guess it just depends on you know your sense of style and what you like better. Um, so at this point, if I wanted to bead, this would be a good time to do it. So I do have a small bead here. The first thing you wanna make sure is that the bead is gonna actually fit on your, your thread, your string here. Some of them are too small, so be careful you don't pick those ones. I'm just gonna go ahead and string this on, push it through the hole there. Nothing too hard. Now if I wanted to put more on there I could but I would not overdo it with the beads. I'm going to do a double knot here on the end. Make a loop and go through and pull it tight. There's my knot. I'm going to do that again. Make a loop. Go through the loop and pull it tight so it's a big knot so that when this is hanging that knot's going to stop it from sliding off. Okay, oops, I should have zoomed. So that it looks something like this. Okay, um, let me just demonstrate that one more time how to make that knot. Is make a loop and then put the end through the loop. So there would be one knot, and then you can do that again. Okay, so that would be finishing the bottom of this. Okay, but um, the beading is not necessary. So let's go ahead and show you how to get the top off and onto your hanging rod. Okay, so. Here you go, this is what it's going to look like once you have tied, cut and tied all of your ends, something like this. Okay, this is a perfect time to bead now. Okay, but what we are going to do next is we're actually going to take this off the loom. So how we're going to do that is we're actually just going to go ahead and lift this off. Just kind of gently, very gently, you don't want to rip anything at this point. Pull this upwards. It should come off. You might have to cut the edges where you tied your knots at. So it looks something like this. Okay, now you're going to take your dowel, this little circular rod is called a dowel, and you're just going to go right through the holes here. Right in order is what I would do. Don't skip any.
that's easier to do it this way. Go all the way to the end, like that, all the way down, okay? And then basically, it will hang off the edges a little bit, something like this. Okay, so that, that's how you do that part. Now the last thing you wanna do is you're gonna wanna put a hanging string on there. So what I have done is I have actually braided um, I've taken three pieces of yarn and braided a hanging string. You don't have to do this, it's just I know how to do it, so I've done it. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just tie this on to one end here. Nothing too serious. Make a loop, pull it through. Kind of let the dangly part hang off like that. Okay, and then I would do the same thing to the side over here so that I could hang it from the wall here. Okay, the other thing you want to make sure you do at this point is if you have any um, fringe on the side, you want to go ahead and cut that um, to make it look nice and neat. And guess what, guys? We're good to go. We're ready to move on to something new. Okay, if you have any questions, feel free to ask.